fall is beginning now because I said so. I'm the type of person that has to have at least two months of Halloween decorations, fall decorations, and Christmas. So that being said, we're getting started early with decorating. So I was really excited for today's video because I had a couple ideas that I wanted to just run with and it turned out really cool. So I hope you stick around and check it out because it's really awesome. So the theme for my living room is going to be magic, which is also Harry Potter inspired. There might be a little bit of fall decorations, but not so much. It's mostly just gonna be magic. My kitchen is going to be where you really can see the fall decorations. I want it to look like autumn just exploded, okay? So I was thinking Halloween town, but in my kitchen. You know how they have those really happy, colorful decorations that are kid-friendly? That's what I want because it makes me feel happy and cozy and nostalgic and that's what we're going for. I'm going to be doing a lot of DIYs, things that you can make yourself at home, things that you can store away easily that take up literally no space, or things you can just toss in the recycle bin at the end of the day. So those are my two ideas and that's what we're going to be doing today. I already got on my Harry Potter glasses for the occasion, which are from glassesusa.com and they are also the sponsor of today's video. So my eyes are very sensitive to light, but it's mostly electronics that really get to me. So the thing that was recommended to me was to wear blue light blocking glasses. So. <laughs> I was so happy when I went on glassesusa.com and they actually had frames that you could select and different lenses that you could select for those frames. So I was able to get transitional sunglass lenses along with blue filter lenses all in one, which is so exciting. The other pair that I got are these ones right here and I literally chose these because it reminded me of Henry Winter. They are also blue light blocking and they are transitional lenses. GlassesUSA.com is so cool because by cutting out the middleman, they're able to offer over 10,000 different prescription sunglasses and eyeglasses including in-house brands like Amelia E and Muse and designer brands like Ray-Ban, Oakley, Gucci, up to 70% off retail pricing. And the last pair that I got are a normal pair of polarized glasses, which are also equally as important as the ones that I got for inside the house. And I actually selected these. Oh my gosh, these are so freaking cute. I tried this feature on their website. It's called the virtual try on tool and you upload a photo of yourself and it virtually puts all of the sunglasses on you. And this is the one that worked best on me. So if you guys are in the market for a new pair of glasses or if you just wanna check out the ones that I just showed you here, I will leave a link down in the description box. And thanks so much to Glasses USA for sponsoring today's video. All right. Let's get to decorating. So in front of my fireplace, I still wanted to keep the books, but I also was thinking of a Gryffindor common room and they use the fireplace. Therefore, the books wouldn't be totally covering the fireplace entrance how I have it in my place. So I made an opening, got rid of some of the books, moved them to other parts of my apartment and just made it a little more clean. I also got rid of all of my plants in the surrounding area because I did not want a bunch of green to be taking over the feel of autumn in the space. So I took my plants out of my bird cage, I took them out from the window, and I put them in other sections of my apartment just to give the space more of an autumn vibe. Next, it was time to make my Hogwarts cutout. This was such an easy DIY that was very cheap. This paper I got from the 99 cent store for 86 cents a piece, so. I got it all for under $5. It's also really easy to store because it's flat if I did want to keep it, or I could just recycle it if I didn't choose to keep it. All I did was I found a silhouette of Hogwarts on Google and I just freehand traced it and cut it out. Very easy to do. I mean, you can't really mess this up. And after I did Hogwarts, I decided to add the Whomping Willow, Hagrid's Hut, Hogsmeade, and also the cutest little Harry Potter flying on a broom. And this is the most adorable thing I've ever cut out. I don't know how I did this freehand. I didn't even trace it. I just freehand cut it 
and he is so cute. I literally see his little face. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so adorable. <laughs> using paper tape I just put it onto my wall and on the sections where I needed it to hold to the actual wall itself I removed my book pages and I just applied it right there I didn't want to remove all of my book pages from the wall because it took so long for me to do uh, and I thought it looked really cool and gave it some texture having it on top of them So I got 12 wax candles for I think $24 on Amazon. These are the cheapest ones I could find with the most candles you could get and I thought that was a really, really good deal. The only thing is they do not have a remote so you have to twist the bottom to turn them on but I mean that's okay, that's fine with me. <laughs> and the fishing wire was only around three bucks for two rolls and I plan to use this for more DIYs in the future so I thought this was a really good purchase. So all I did to do this was just tie the fishing wire around the top of the candlestick in one knot. That's literally it. It held so well and it looked amazing. And of course I had to use my alien tape to apply it to the ceiling because this is the, it's the only tape I use. Everyone knows it by now. It's like, I swear by this tape. Just get it if you can't put holes in your ceiling, okay? Or your walls, just get it. I'm not gonna lie, applying the candlesticks was pretty scary because I was standing on a pop-up table because I don't have anything taller than that in my apartment. Yeah, it was pretty scary, but we got it done. My water projector I only got for $25 on Amazon. I decided to put it inside of my fireplace to look as if it was flu powder being used. You know when they use flu powder in the Harry Potter movies and it just glows green? That's what I was aiming for here and it's always in the fireplace. And of course I wanted to display all of my Harry Potter books because you can't have a magical Harry Potter room without your books being displayed. I put it on the little cabinet which is our entry cabinet when we walk in that we store our keys on. So I put my Harry Potter books there, a little pumpkin, some fall leaves. Yeah, it was really cute. It was just like a little, a little ode to the Harry Potter books. And then it was time to bust out my star projector to project it onto my ceiling above the candles to make it look like the night sky. I did hide this behind the cabinet, but it was peeking out on the ground and there's no real way to really disguise this because the light has to be showing through somewhere, but I felt like the ground was the best place to put it. And last but not least, I wanted to incorporate some of my actual Harry Potter items within the space, like my Gryffindor scarf, my Gryffindor sweater, and my robe and wands. I'm shook. Guys, <laughs> I, I can't believe how amazing this turned out. Just wait till you see this. Okay, I'm just gonna show you.
The Harry Potter room turned out so amazing. I like, when I looked back at this footage, I was blown away by how beautiful it turned out. The combination of the fireplace glowing green looking like flu powder and the floating candles above it with the night sky, oh my gosh. I could not have asked for a better magical living room. Now moving on to the kitchen, which is gonna be really hard because I think the living room is so good. How can I top that? I don't know, I'm gonna try. So again, I am going to be using cutouts here. I bought some colored poster paper from Michaels. I think this is about four or five dollars for a bunch of different colors. And I use this poster paper all the time for different arts and crafts or even making a DIY card. So again, this is just another easy way to decorate your place that's inexpensive and easy to store. Using the orange paper, all I did was cut out some pumpkins freehand and added some details with a green marker. I added them to my cabinets because I thought it would be cute to kind of make it look like a, a custom autumn cabinet. And I think I did exactly that. This was a really cute way to transform my kitchen and it was so simple to do. Another cutout I did was bats. I did this last year, but I still have them. I was able to keep them in a book. I loved the way that this looked because it really looks like bats flying out of a certain area if you place them on the wall strategically. So I thought it would be cool if it looked like they were flying out from behind the fridge. I also bought this cute, happy, haunting rag, and I thought it matched the vibe of my kitchen perfectly and what I was aiming for because it had the bats and it had the fall colors and the pumpkins, so I just added that on my oven. Now, just those decorations alone wasn't enough. I wanted to bring light into the room. So using my orange lights that I got last year, I decided to kind of outline the kitchen with them using my alien tape. This really gave it such a cozy autumn feel. Something I like to do when I add candy to my cauldron to make it look as if it's more full, I put rags inside of the bottom of the cauldron and then I put the candy on top. That way the candy looks like it's bursting out of the cauldron and I actually have more than what I really do. I also put a trick or treat sign right in front of it. So that way when people walk in and they see trick or treat, there's the whole cauldron of candy and they're like, oh. Another cute way to spice up your candles is by buying a little bag of candy corn. You can get these from the 99 cent store and putting it around your candles or even putting some within your candles. On the top of my fridge, I put my burlap sack that I no longer use. I fluffed it up a bit and I put some fall leaves in there, some pumpkins and a little fall sign leaning against some books. And last but not least, I made some fall garland. I used some fall fabric that I had and I wrapped my fall leaves around it pretty tightly and I just laid it in front of my sink area in my kitchen and it just looked very beautiful. I arranged some pumpkins throughout the garland laying there and some candles and it just looked very, very nice. It almost reminded me of a Christmas garland but fall, and that's why I loved it so much.
The kitchen turned out so wonderfully. It really does make me feel as if I'm in Halloween town because it's so colorful and festive and it just, it looks like autumn exploded and that's how I wanted it to feel. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I absolutely love doing these makeover videos, regardless if it's aesthetic or seasonal, any change in my surroundings, I am all for. It is so much fun for me, so I really hope that you guys like watching these. And hopefully in the process of this, you know, you got some ideas for decorating your space as well. Well, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your week. And once again, if you do wanna get these glasses, I will leave a link in the description box for you, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.